Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. In our last video, we got, uh, we answered the Sphinx's riddle, but I'm gonna write down these, these things on the doorway here. Uh, if I can. If I can write these down. I can, okay, good. And then, uh, one, two, down. And then, one, two, down. And then, one, one, one. There we go. So that's our, that's our set of things. And now we can move past the Sphinx because we answered his riddle. Hopefully he will never bother us again. A telescope is beside the window. A star map is on the wall. This must be an observatory. Okay, so like, let's take whatever's on the table here. Scroll five. And we'll open that. Scroll five is open. We've read the scroll. Observing the stars. The throne constellation appears once every five summers. Legend says that it is a portal to another land. Alright. Um, let's look at the star map. It's an ornate carving of a shooting star. The object is made of silver and is extremely heavy. Let's take it. Uh, take everything. So we have a star now. I'm gonna look at the telescope. As you peer through the telescope, you're amazed by the clarity of the night sky. Okay. You are so captivated by the woman's beauty that you momentarily forget your predicament. Yes, in the moonlight, she's even more beautiful. Cool, let's take her! Nah, You can't take it. Um, let's, uh, let's use her! <laughs> let's speak to her, how about that? It doesn't seem to understand what you say. It? Let's look at her again. This fine glass lies upon the floor, chained to the wall. She's extremely beautiful. Well, let's take this thing. With a loud roar, the wolf pounces on you, taking your life. Well, that was killed by a chick. Not the way it always goes. Okay. Anyway. So we have to kill her. Um, but what are we going to use to kill her? Silver arrow, of course. Because she's a werewolf of some sort. We have a silver arrow from forever ago. Your aim is true as you plunge a silver arrow into the beautiful woman. The beautiful lady suddenly transforms into a wolf. <laughs> Could have been very awkward if... She, you know, if we just made that assumption. So the blade is in our, and I believe that the, the the blade and the star. Now we're getting into some items that we really need for this game. I mean, like desperately need. Oh, you know what? I actually think. First, burnt and beaten, drowned and pierced with nails, then stepped on by long-faced animals. First, burnt and beaten, drowned and pierced with stepped on by long-faced animals. Dost thou know? Wait, what? I don't think I have any of those that we want. Oh! Yeah, you're a horseshoe. Yeah. Cool. You're not as clever as you think, buddy. Because I think we can open the star map. If I remember correctly. Yep! I know exactly what to do with this thing, too. But how would you know that? Open the star map. It's so weird. See, there we go. Suddenly the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. As you, you are startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that is formed at your feet. So now we have the wand. So take the wand from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The hole then closes up as if it has never been. We need to use a torch, though.
So now we have the wand, and I believe that the wand is what we need to use on the snake. So, so long ago. So long ago that you forgot about it. It's crazy how far down, or how far back we've gone. The snake begins to shake and shudder. Is it just your eyes or is it shrinking? So there we go. That was that was a thing for some reason I remember. The serpentine statue begins to change. It grows smaller and smaller. It de dematerializes and forms anew as a staff of tremendous beauty. So there. That's what we needed. So I have the staff and the blade. I believe we need one more piece of this dumb thing. The staff and the blade, I believe, are kind of final deals in this thing, but we we still need it. We're still missing a key. I think we're missing a key and a spell. You know, I actually, we might be able to... I, no, I... I don't know what to do about this now. Now that we've gone back. Try our spells. Maybe we can kill him. The spell was chanted Illumina. The room suddenly seemed to be lit by a million torches as the spell is released. Well, that's fantastic, but how do I get away from this guy? I don't have a spear anymore. I don't have a gold coin. Well, I can't, but I can't get past him now. Can I? Huh. There has to be a thing that will... With one swift motion, the troll launches his spear and runs you through. The spear pierces your chest and exits through your back. Wow! So, like, he just took the spear, and, uh, yeah. So now we're stuck, I think. I don't know what to do anymore, so... Um... Alright, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.